Welcome to the Riggin Farm YouTube channel. In this video, we'll show you how we put up these 8 feet tall T-posts with a post driver to get started on the fence for our garden. Before we got started, we cleared out about 6 feet around the perimeter of the garden. Unless you're over 7 feet tall, you'll probably need some kind of stool or ladder to reach the top of the posts. The ground here is relatively soft, so we were afraid that the legs of a traditional stool would sink and cause injury. We used a piece of tree trunk we had laying around that provided a very solid step stool. Installing the post is pretty straightforward. Mark where it's going to be placed, get on the step, slide the driver over the top of the post, and repeatedly hammer it until the desired depth is achieved. We measured each one from the top to the ground to ensure a consistent 18 inches below ground. Our posts were spaced 20 feet apart. Once the next position was marked, we'd roll our log over and repeat the process. The first four went up pretty quickly, but it was exhausting. A few weeks ago, we set up a temporary fence around our beehive with six and a half feet tall posts, and we needed to remove them now that we were putting up a taller fence around the whole area. The post driver can also be used to easily remove T-posts from the ground. We set the top of the driver onto the ground, put the open end against one of the ridges on the post, stepped on it to hold it in place, and then pulled on the post. The driver acts as a lever and helps pull the post out of the ground. We were shocked at how easily this worked. We installed a total of 22 T-posts around the garden. Make sure you subscribe and see how we attach the wire to make it into a pest-proof fence. Here's a glimpse of the aftermath from our fire that got out of control that we showed you in our last video. After two days, it was still smoking in several areas, and we even had actual flames burning in a few spots. We bought this 25-acre tract of timberland in North Georgia during the summer of 2020, had about 20 acres of trees harvested in the fall, and have spent this past winter and spring working hard to turn this land into a farm that'll soon produce flowers, vegetables, fruits, and a variety of livestock. The home we're having built should be ready to move into this summer so we can live on the farm full time. Two and a half hour round trip drives from our current home to the farm will soon be a thing of the past. We can't wait. Thank you so much for watching this video. We truly appreciate every view we get and would love it if you'd continue to follow us on our journey. See you next time!